shopping. Me too. <laughs> Welcome to a, another live Remember the Great Sports pickups video. We are at an roadside destination in Livingston, Illinois, right off of Interstate 55. If you can see that over there. And this place is a former high school, Livingston High School, that has been converted into an antique mall slash mini diner. And if you can see, it's called the Pink Elephant. And you can see the Pink Elephant over there. And you can kind of see some of the old 19s, 50s era decorations that they've made here. And there's also a Christmas decor store that's attached here. And like I said, a little restaurant. So a little rainy and gloomy today. So I'm going to pause for a second and we'll uh, join you when we get inside. So say hello to the elephant. Let's see what we can find in this place. Had to wipe the winds off a little bit there. So when we first walk in, and again, as you guys know, I collect sports stuff. Occasionally a comic book or two, but. So you walk in, and this is the old gymnasium. You can see the scoreboard even, and there's the old stage. So here's the counter with some wonderful young ladies. <laughs> you can see the old gymnasium floor. So let's just walk around and see what we can find sports-wise. All right, so looking around a little bit down the first aisle here. Came across some sports stuff, but if you see the price tag, not really the most uh, affordable stuff. I mean, to me that autograph is way overpriced. It's, you know, not the best quality autograph to begin with. And, you know, why would you pay that for it? I can't really tell what looks like an Ernie Binks baseball signed in Sharpie, which, you know, obviously is not worth 125 bucks, so. That's kind of where we're looking here. So we'll keep moving. Just kind of give you an idea of this place. We're not going to show you those adult only items. There are some collector coins in this booth next to us. You know, McGuire bobblehead there, it looks like. Or, oh, well, Molina, I'm sorry. McGuire. <laughs> but a Molina statue of some sort. Looks like there's a little more sports stuff over here. Got some Cardinal Mike Shannon alarm clock there. That's pretty cool. I remember that being a giveaway a couple years ago. Looks like a couple signed baseballs. Looks like a Keith Hernandez. But I don't see a price tag on it. A couple beer steins. There's an old Bush Stadium thing. So we'll keep moving. Hopefully I won't have to edit out the uh, music in the background for copyright purposes. There's some comic books. So, let's go downstairs. There's an upstairs it looks like too, so we'll go down here and look around. I mean, this is the type of place I like digging through. This is uh, definitely a place that is a good place to uh, find some good cheap sports stuff if you run across it. But if you collect, you know, anything, this is the type of place to look. I mean, there's a whole stack of M&M stuff, if that's your thing. <laughs> you know, there's a little treasure troll. You guys remember those from the 90s? <laughs> with the crazy hair. I used to have one of those. Don't anymore, but... What else we got here? 
Looks like some pottery and stuff. I don't see much sports stuff in this one. Some toys. Oh, there's a there's a here's a random one. What do we got here? What's the price on that? A mini St. Louis Cardinals football. Looks like a giveaway. Small white St. Louis football. Kind of dropped it there. Two bucks. What do you guys think? Two bucks? Think I'm going to grab it. I mean, how often do you see St. Louis football cardinal items? If you remember my one video, has a St. Louis Cardinals pennant, so this would go perfect with that. For two bucks, why not? There's build a bear University. What do you guys think? That sports? There's a Detroit Tigers monkey. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want that, but... So we're going to take this football for sure. Oh my god, that would be a nightmare. Why would you ever want that? A talking nanny doll. I mean, I'm not... I'm not trying to talk mean about Fred and Drescher here or anything, but I could not imagine having a doll that screeched that voice out. <laughs> Well, this looks like the tool section. And holy crap. What? Holy. Talk about freaking freaking you out. Look at that. <laughs> that would definitely freak you out in the dark. Can you imagine waking up and having that sitting looking at you? Holy moly. Next to Elvis. So we'll work our way back this way. Obviously there's nothing down there I'm looking for. Looks like some beer stuff. I don't even know what those are. <laughs> Old school bicycle, there you go. Tricycle, there you go. Only 1200 bucks if you guys want it. Imagine the faces of gawks you get if somebody saw you doing that. It's a replica Bob Gibson, Gibson jersey. Not really too big into those unless they're absolutely just cheap. What we got over here? Looks like some cardinal stuff. DVDs. Some random books. 50% off books. Let's see if there's any sports related books laying around here. Oh, the big book of One Direction. What do you guys think? Better buy that, huh? That's going to be worth something someday. I don't see any sports books over here, but let's look around a little bit more. Never know. I'm going to set this football down so I can have my free hand here. Big Trouble Little China. There's a good movie. Great movie. Alright, so we got a cardinal monkey, a basketball phone, foam finger. Well, here's some sports books. Hey. Here's some sports books. Over here. So, what I found is a 2010 World Series program. At half off, and the price is only five ninety nine. So we're talking only three bucks for a World Series program: Rangers versus Giants. Why that's in the St. Louis area is beyond me, <laughs> but for three bucks, we'll take it. All right, sorry about that. Back on the screen here, but definitely going to take that. So I'm going to take that up to the counter in a second, but as I was going through the books here, I found a Drivers of NASCAR book. And 
It's only, let's see here. I saw the tag somewhere in here. Looks like they wrote it in there, but we can erase that. So half price of nine bucks. So we will take that for future autograph potential. And while I was down here, I noticed these NBA Ultra Jams of Penny Hardaway, Keith Van Horn, and Grant Hill for only four bucks a piece. So a new Hall of Famer and probably a Hall of Famer eventually. Now that he's coaching Memphis, you just never know. So we will see you back here in a minute. I'm going to take these up to the front because I can't carry the phone and the items at the same time. So. All right, so I just took the stuff up to the counter. So, you want to go up, or do you want to go that way? What do you think? We'll go up. <laughs> so climbing the stairs here. Not sure what this would be. Maybe a old stairway that used to go to classrooms would be my guess. I'm gonna kind of give you a panoramic view here. The old gymnasium, the Livingston Eagles. So there we go. So what do we got in here? Speedy Gonzalez. Reba, Reba. Holy crap. Look at the, remember this guy? The Honey Smacks Frog. I forgot about him. <laughs> that is awesome. Anybody know what his name is? You know, because you had the bunny from Tricks, you had the honey smacks, you had the bear, what was those sugar smacks? So we got some video games here. The Madden game. I don't necessarily need it, but. So, I'm going to pause for a second here and probably take these games up as well. So, we'll be right back. Alright, so we are back. We are going to get a few video games too, apparently. So, let me see what else we can find here. Who's who in baseball history? Don't really need another book though. <laughs> Already buying a couple, so Skylanders. Maybe. <laughs> wow, DOS CD ROM games. What do you guys think of that, football fans? Football barbecue. All right, I am back on the floor here. You can see the gym floor. No more basketball hoops though. They took down the hoops. There's the free throw line. <laughs> and there's the logo in the middle of the floor there. There's somebody down that aisle that I want to record them. But again, looking for cheap video games comic books and of course sports stuff so hopefully I don't miss something <laughs> one of the employees just walked by I didn't want to record her they were uh, very very generous to allow me to record in here I don't recommend going into an antique mall and just start recording you know you should ask permission of the owners first 
before you do. It's look like a newer comic book. I'm not, oh, here's some, some vintage cards here, but I don't see anything jumping out at me. Yeah, there's a usual 58 tops at 70 bucks. That's pretty much asking full price, in my opinion, for a raw card. There's a personalized stamp usual photo for an affordable $159. So, as you can see, you don't always find deals at every booth. You know, this place has a lot of deals, but not a whole lot of deals. So, there's nothing up there. There's more booths on the stage, so let's go check that out. Going up on the stage. And there's the old diner. I'm not going to record the people in there, but got a few more boots up here, it looks like. The 50s diner. There's a Cardinals World Series Championship Budweiser. I've got one of those somewhere in my house. And a St. Louis Rams Coke. Don't have that, but not really big into the collecting the beer bottles and soda cans, to be honest with you, or bottles, I should say. I'll be very careful here. And don't want to break anything. I'm like a bowl in a china shop. Also, there was a, uh, another customer back there. I don't feel really uh, easy recording other people without their permission. So, you know, sometimes it just happens inadvertently, but, you know, there's Elvis. <laughs> the karate man who stole his wife. Don't see any sports stuff up here. Oh, oh, other end of the stage. I need to double back for one second, so I'm going to pause and I'm going to resume in one second. All right, so we're going to resume, you know, here. But just wanted to point out the if you break it, you buy it sign. So coming back down, I'm going to guess these are. Uh, Probably the old locker rooms for basketball teams. You know, I played in many a dink dungeons like that in my day. Well, I didn't play, but I used locker rooms like that when I was a kid. So again, not seeing a whole lot of sports stuff down this aisle. There's an old Super Bowl mug, it looks like. Again, I'm not real big into glassware. There's you know, Mickey Mouse, Cardinal. You know, looks like a Kyle Petty Coke bottle. You know, my philosophy is is there's a niche for everybody, but you can't just collect everything. I mean, yeah, I don't I don't collect too much glassware because you know it just is too hard to move, and moving a box of baseball cards is a lot easier than you know trying to move that, and you know just not a lot of fun there, but. You know, just kind of looking around here. Hopefully I don't miss something because this is a huge place. Huge place. I mean, imagine if you went to a small town high school in the Midwest and you went to an antique mall. That's basically what this is. And if I'm not mistaken, um, you know, I spoke with my father. This is about eight miles from where I grew up, give or take, you know, maybe ten miles at most. But, uh... He was telling me that there's also apartments in this building now, you know, so people actually live in the high school, <laughs> or the old high school. There's some cardinal stuff. 50th anniversary NASCAR jacket, 149 I don't see the jacket, so I guess they didn't take the sign down. And again, you know, if your niche is bobbleheads or, you know, beer bottles or whatever. This is a good place to find that stuff.
There's randomly a Chicago White Sox pin. Five bucks. I don't know if that's worth that. Oh, wow. Look at the cat thing. That's cool. We used to have a dog one like that. That's pretty neat to sort your mail. I might have that still somewhere. Seems like it got packed away and just never unpacked in all my mini moves. But this last thing caught my eye here. And talk about some nostalgia. Check out the 7-Up Spot telephone. How awesome is that? You know you're a child of the 90s if you know who this guy is. So, very, very cool. Not really interested in it, but people collect phones. And if if I was definitely producing a movie in the 90s, I would want to have that in it just for the... <laughs> nostalgia factor that is absolutely cool all right moving on i'm gonna i'm gonna pause for a minute here because we're already at about 22 minutes so if i find something good i we will re-record all right so we are out i didn't find anything after i cut the video there uh, spent roughly about 50 bucks on uh different uh items but just want to give one last shot of looks like they need to put their antique sign back together but this is in livingston illinois it's called the pink elephant antiques and it is a former high school so again really easy access right off of interstate 55 which is about oh roughly about 30 35 40 miles from downtown st louis so if you're ever in the st louis area and you got a little extra time to kill come on up to livingston illinois and check out the antique mall at the former high school all right so welcome back to home uh this is uh the final recap of all the things you just saw me pick up live at i have their pin here ready drum roll I know it's kind of hard to see. It's called a multicolored pen. But this is a pen from the Pink Elephant in Livingston, Illinois, as you saw in the video. So, to recap really quick, here is the St. Louis Cardinals football. You know, very happy to add this to collection for only two bucks. You know, pretty pretty sweet deal there. I thought you don't see St. Louis Cardinal football items too often, so for two bucks, why not? A um, couple of the mini jams. We have the Penny Hardaway mini jam, and the best way I can describe this, well, Ultra Jam, excuse me, not mini jam, is it's kind of like the size of a bobblehead basically, and it's still in the box. And you can see some of the other people that are in the set. Michael Jordan. Obviously that wasn't there. Kobe Bryant wasn't there. Or I would have definitely bought those. So we got the Penny Hardaway. And also Grant Hill. So very happy to add those to my, I guess, random statue collection would be the best way to describe those. Because... Those aren't bobbleheads. Those aren't starting lineups. I can't quite describe what those things are. As you saw, the World Series program. I only paid $3 for. 2010 World Series. And just to kind of zip through it, the only bad thing that I noticed was negative, but it's not horrible. Well, we'll go to that. But there's the Texas Rangers roster in the book. Sorry about the glare there. It's a little blurry too. But on the inside, and this is hard to tell maybe, so I'll hold it up, but this is actually scored. But look at the penmanship of the person that wrote that. I mean, you'd almost think that was somebody's, that was printed on there. It's so nice and legible. I mean, I can't write that nice. So very cool I mean yeah it's scored but you know what who cares 
At least it's not my handwriting, because my handwriting's horrendous compared to this person. So, very happy to add that to the collection for only three bucks. This one I might have to zoom out a little bit for, because it's a large book. But, the Drivers of NASCAR. And this book was only, you know, let's see, half of nine, so pretty good deal there. The one thing I don't like is they actually wrote the price up in the corner. I hate it when vendors do that, especially on books or comic books. I mean, it's like, really? You're defacing the, the thing. But if you just scroll through the book real quick here, it's got, like, biographical pages in alphabetical order. Kind of like that NBA book that I shared with you guys a little while back. You know, there's Dale Earnhardt Jr., There's Dale Jr. A lot of people like him. And there's Dale Sr., which I know a lot of people are fans of him as well. And there's a nice, beautiful spread on him. And this has just got a lot of great NASCAR legends. It's Mark Martin, right? Yep. Mark Martin. Maybe one day I'll get him to sign this. He actually has a museum down in Arkansas. So, might bring this with me and ask him to sign it sometime. But, lots of great NASCAR legends. Very similar to that book that I got with the NBA guys. And, you just can't... I can't describe how cool it is to have a book like this in your collection. You know, I know the internet has everything you need to know about these guys. But, to be able to sit down and read a book and just look at the full color pictures and the biographies of these guys, that's better than looking at it on your computer or your tablet or your phone, in my opinion. Call me old school, but that's just how I feel. And finally, I picked up a stack of Wii games, and these are only two bucks a piece. And as you can see, got quite a stack there. I gave a few away to my nephews already, though. Uh, a couple sports games or whatever. I just dropped the football, of course. Um, but the cream of the crop is Mario Kart Wii for only two bucks. So very happy to get that one to the collection. But not going to talk too much about video games because that's not what this channel is about. This is about you know collecting sports stuff. So just wanted to mention, grab those video games. And again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, at Pink Elephant antiques and ice cream twisty treat ice cream is also on there and it's there's their phone number and livingston illinois so if you ever get a chance to be in the area definitely stop by there run through the antique mall they're very generous for allowing me to record i always say if you're going to record like this you know i i encourage people to you know do the same thing i'm doing but ask permission try not to sneak sneak around because that that just creates a situation that's very uh not conducive to youtube would be the best way to put it so uh i hope you enjoyed this video very happy to add the book and these figurines to the collection uh the football's laying on the floor so i'm not going to grab that but thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed